Hey everybody, this is Guy with Survive. Recently we've had a lot of questions about the upcoming GSO-4 and what some of the changes are compared to the previous 4.1s. Uh, so we're just gonna go over that real quick this morning and also just throwing it in there for fun is the upcoming GSO 5.5. So this is the original GSO 4.1 uh, circa 2014. Uh, it was a compact general use knife. Um, kind of had this flattish handles. There was some contouring in there, which was uh, a good entrance into 3D contouring, but things were kind of square and flat faced. So moving into the next generation, we were trying to soften all of those features up a bit and introduce a little swellier contouring and a little more roundness. Uh, what ended up happening with this next iteration is the blade grew, um, I guess with our service provider, the, we had a programming error or something, and the blade grew quite a bit uh, beyond what we intended. So moving into the 2020 GSO-4, uh, we got this overall size back down to uh, more what I was originally intending and made this knife much more compact than either of these previous versions. Uh, it's less bulky, it's less tall, while having more effective handle length than either of these previous models, even this larger 4.1. Um, we have a longer effective grip well. Things are nice and rounded. Uh, we have really nice round contouring for great comfort. Huge lanyard opening. And uh, we took these little ears of the pommel off so that uh, even if it does get into the heel of your hand, uh, there's nothing to irritate your hand. Just nice rounded contours here. So looking at the cross section of the contouring, we added this positive ramp, see compared to this, which was flatter and kind of tapers off at a thin area. Um, this gives us a little more comfort through these areas of the handle and fills up the hand better and then also gives you nice uh, positive retention, both in a standard grip and in a side pinch grip. Uh, even this pen grip, your hand rests in there very naturally. Uh, you have good lockup, nice comfort. So that's that. And I just wanted to really quickly go over the GSO-5, in or the GSO 5.5 in comparison to the previous 4.1. So we downsize this model and have a clearer separation uh, from some of our larger knives. Now, this is meant to be a smaller version of something like the GSO-5 or the 5.1. Uh, the 5.1 is actually quite a bit larger than this. It's more tall, a little bit longer blade. Um, the name kind of stuck early on in 2013, so we ran with it, but the 5.1 actually has a 5.75 inch blade from the front of the handle to the tip, where this is a five and a half inch blade. Um, we have a thinner stock and less blade height. This blade height is actually comparable to this previous 4.1. Now, uh, in contrast here, we do have a much longer handle than this previous 4.1 and the contouring again is much thicker and we've got that good positive uh, contouring leading out through the guard so it, it gives you really nice in-hand retention the thumb rests really well in that area and again it's just nice for a pen grip uh, i've got a very large finger choil here if you want to choke up to do uh, really delicate chores um, if you don't prefer the finger choil, uh, take a look at the GSO 4.7. What we did is just eliminated that in favor of smaller grinding choil and brought this whole blade back from five and a half to four and three quarter. So it is a really nice compact form factor, uh, make a really good uh, survival knife. It's very high retention, very comfortable. So yeah, there we are. Um, I think that kind of went over the highlights. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to ask and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you guys again soon.